Hello everybody, welcome to lesson 2 on HTML5, and today we will be learning about metadata. Now, in the last lesson we, um, made a, uh, web page. Let's open it up. Um, it, we wrote it up in a notepad. Today we'll be using Notepad++, though. Uh, here's what we made in the last lesson. So let's just change some of these things up. To re-edit your web page, just right-click it, click Open With, and then Notepad. Okay, so let's just change the content for this tutorial. I'm going to make the title All About Cows. Just make it something random. Uh, for our header, we're going to put Introduction. For a paragraph, we're going to change it to Cows Eat Grass, Cows Produce Milk That Is uh, Used by Humans. And we could also put, they are used for beef. Okay, so we just changed the subject to cows, so let's just click File, Save, and let's open it up. And here's our uh, web page on cows. Now let's also rename the file from first web page to cows.html. Now let's use Notepad++. Download it from the link in the description once you have done downloading it. Just right click it, uh, your HTML file, then click Edit with Notepad++. Now here it is. Make sure your language, click Language right up here, and then click a H, and then click HTML. Make sure it's set on HTML. Um, here's what's so good about a H T or Notepad++. It organizes all your tags perfectly with color-coded information too. So our doc type's up there. If we click an HTML tag, you can see that it's linked to the closing tags. Same thing with the head, the body, and all these other tags. It highlights what's actually a tag, and it highlights the uh, plain text as well. So let's get started with the metadata. Now metadata is just uh, it just allows you to include extra descriptive information and that does not appear in the browser window. Uh, meta uh, metadata can use uh, it can include a description, author, copyright, and uh, keywords as well as uh, a lot more like uh, the program you use to edit it, edit your uh, uh, HTML web page. So all it, it it's used for is. Um, it just helps search engines uh, categorize your web page, which is very useful if you want uh, traffic on your web page so people can actually view your web page. So let's just uh, get this done and then we'll move on to other HTML uh, tags. So uh, put your meta tag right after the title tag in the head uh, tags. So the first thing we're going to do is just type the starting of our, uh, our tag and then type in meta. And then Here's the uh, attribute we are going to use. It's going to be name. This is, we'll be talking about attributes uh, uh, later on. For now, just hang in there. So just put in meta name equals, and then type in author. Now this is the type of content that we will be using. So then here, just type in content, and then close it out. Now, let me just explain what happened. So here's the type of uh, tag, meta. It doesn't need a closing tag, by the way. And the name of this tag, the attribute of it, it's author. So, and inside our content, we had to type in who the author is. So let's just put in code stop here, since that's the author for this web page. You could just put in your own name there. Now let's do the uh, description meta tag. There's so much of these you could uh, use. So, my bad. Description equals. Oh wait, sorry, I did that wrong, guys. It's supposed to be name and then description. Now for the content, we're gonna type in all all about cows. That's content of our web page, basically. You could type in a lot more here if you want a, a more of a chance of people stumbling on your web page. Um, the next word we're going to do is uh, keywords. Meta name is equal to keywords. 
and then content of is uh based so the keywords are um what uh the pe people actually search up certain keywords and if you have these keywords it will match them up with your web page and they will be able to find your web page when they search it up so for keywords just type in keywords so cows separate them by commas and spaces so cows uh milk beef uh all about study just things like that so that's our keywords now I'll just be showing you one more uh, meta uh, tag uh, I'll send, put a link in for a list of different meta tags you can use so for this one we're gonna put in meta uh, name equals and then this is uh, to show which uh, program you use to make your web page so type in generator put in content and let's put in notepad plus plus and let's just put in the closing brackets so now let's save this file save exit this let's open it up now there will be no change to the page itself but it'll help you on the long run when you're making a professional web page and you need your uh, web page to be listed on google so thanks for watching this lesson if you have any questions please do uh, ask them via p uh, messaging me uh, instead of comments uh, please do leave your suggestions uh, comments and please do subscribe, and I'll see you in Lesson 3.